Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Nevada LP from our premium collection. It's a tunnel design tent which can sleep up to six people and what we have is a large living space at the front with bedrooms at the back or you can also have a bedroom which comes with the tent in the front which we'll show you in detail a little bit later on. So with the tent being in our premium collection we're using our Outex 6000 fly sheet on here. This is a taffeta polyester material so very good quality. It's PU coated on the inside and it has fully taped seams throughout, giving it a hydrostatic head of 6,000 millimetres, ensuring that it's completely waterproof even in the heaviest of rainfall. The frame that we use on here from front to back is our Duratec fibreglass uh, frames here. So you can see here that we have these fibreglass poles. Now they might look a little bit different to what you're used to on standard black fibreglass poles because they have a protective coating on the outside that just make them a little bit stronger and if you're unfortunate enough for one to break, it won't shatter into many bits and, uh, and ruin your tent. It will just split lengthways, making it easy to repair or quick and easy to replace as well. We have lots of other features to talk you through. So we have our ventilation panels on the side here. Um, so just underneath this panel, you'll see that we have a, a mesh panel under there just to allow cool, fresh air into the tent. If it gets a little bit too chilly, we can just get rid of that by closing down the vent like this. We have large tinted windows all the way around the tent here. Now it's called the Nevada LP, and just to point out, the P does not stand for premium, although it is in the premium collection. The P actually stands for panoramic. So this is where we have this rounded front to the tent, and what you can see is there's a window on every single panel, including the front door when it is it down, giving you panoramic views from within the tent. We also have some other nice features on here. We have our wind stabilizer system, making sure that even though it's a fiberglass frame tent, it's very, very stable in high winds. We have tested this up to a force nine on the Beaufort scale. And here's how it works. All we do is simply take the Velcro straps and wrap them around the poles like this and lock into position. You'll find there's one of these at the top and at the bottom of every single pole. And what that does once we take the guy lines from these and peg them out is it pulls the fabric against the frame of the tent, making the whole thing much more taut and much more stable, as I say, being tested up to a force nine on the Beaufort scale, so nice and stable. So something else just to highlight here is that we have quite a few reflective points uh, so that in the night, if you've got a head torch on, you're going to be able to see all these. We also use our luminous guy lines throughout the tent as well, ensuring that these should be a little bit easier to see when it's darker, so you're not going to trip over these quite as easily. When it comes to packing down the tent, each guy line has its own retainer, so all we have to do is simply wrap up the guy line in their hands and pop it in here so that they're easily accessible the next time you come to use the tent. So something else that we supply with the Nevada LP is our easy pegging system. This is where we supply you with three different styles of peg for the tent. We have the solid steel pegs, which are for the corners, and these will be your anchor pegs. They will go in the grey uh, pegging points. We have the black plastic peg for all of the black pegging points around the side of the tent. And we also have the luminous peg, which obviously goes with the luminous guy lines. So really all in the name there, the easy pegging system, making it nice and easy for you to know that you're getting the right peg in the right place. Just something else to highlight here, um, when it comes to pitching the tent, we have a, a color-coded system here. So each pole is color-coded to each sleeve, ensuring that, again, it's going to be nice and simple when it comes to pitching. Something else to highlight is our rain safe entrance on the uh, side of the tent here. So with this tent having a sloped front, uh, it would be advisable to use this entrance when it's, uh, when it's a little bit more wet because you have the shelter uh, covering your ground sheet. With it being a sealed ground sheet, obviously if water gets in there, it's going to stay in there because the ground sheet is completely waterproof. So as I say, advisable to use this entrance uh, when it's pretty wet or if you are using that bedroom in the front area. So if we just uh, take a little wander around to the front here, uh, just to point out another few nice details here. So the front door is of a good size, uh, nice and wide for you to be able to get all of your bits and pieces into the tent, no problem at all. Um, you can see here that we have the front door rolled up. Just behind this door though, there is a full mesh door here as well. So if you want, you can have this uh, as a sort of open door, but with the mesh down, so you're not gonna get those bugs in the tent. A really nice detail is our dry zip at the front here. So this is uh, a little bit uh, different to what you may be used to. When the door is zipped down, what you're going to have is a panel that's going to cover all of these zips here. You can just see the Velcro tab here, almost like a waterproof jacket where you have a panel covering it all. If water does come in behind that panel, we have this beading here, which isn't just for style and design. It does have a function as well. It will take the water away from this zip. 
If water does get through this zip, you'll then see that there's another piece of material behind this, and we actually have a channel in here that the water will run down and away from the inside zip, which is also taped as well. So a lot of detail going into this zip to ensure that it's as waterproof and as watertight as can be. So if we just pop into the tent itself, once we're in here, you see that there's plenty of space when you don't have that front bedroom in, uh, in the front here. Actually, even when it is in, you still have a really good space in the middle of the tent here. Great head height. I'm quite tall at about six foot three. Uh, so you can see I can stand up in here no problem at all. And as I said, there are lots of light as well being uh, allowed into the tent thanks to those large windows that we mentioned earlier on. At the top, there is a lantern hanging point right in the middle of the tent. And what you can see is if we just come away from that, leading down, we have these cable tidies that run all the way down to the bottom here, which is where we have our cable entry point. So just this zip here would allow you to bring your cables in through here, whilst keeping either the mesh doors or the outside doors closed. The ground sheet, as I mentioned from the outside, is fully sealed from front to back and side to side. It's bathtub in style, so you can see that it comes up at the edges here. I just pull this back so it's coming along and then up at the side so no drafts coming in. And it'll keep out dirt and sand and dust and things like that. And more importantly, hopefully keep out those unwanted creepy crawlies as well. The tent has three different entrances. So again, if you're using the tent with the bedroom that comes supplied in the front area, then you do have two side entrances. Again, both of which have full mesh doors. You can just see here that we have dropped this one down just to show you that that just zips fully into place. So again, Great ventilation, but keeping out those unwanted bugs as well. So at the back is where the two bedrooms are of the, of the three. And you can see that how they are attached is using our wave-shaped hanging point system. A really nice feature here is that these actually come pre-attached. So this is already in place for you. So it's a job you don't have to worry about. And the nice feature of the wave-shaped hanging point, it's not just about style and the way that it looks, it also has a functionality of taking any stress off of the seam of the top of the bedroom as well. On the bedrooms themselves, plenty of features to talk about. We have all these uh, storage pockets on the outside, which are great and handy for smaller uh, personal possessions. You can see that the bedroom doors, again, have uh, mesh panels on here uh, for great ventilation within the bedrooms, but there is a curtain behind there, which we have closed at the moment if you want privacy. Inside the bedroom, first thing I would highlight would be the fact that the roof of the bedroom is a, a dark uh, colour, so it's a black ceiling on here just to give you a long lie when that sun comes up in the morning. At the back you can also see that we have a large mesh ventilation panel which corresponds to outside ventilation. And down to the side here you can see that we have some handy storage pockets as well, ideal for smaller personal possessions. And just here, you'll see that we have a uh, zipped access to a low light window, allowing you to have a look outside without leaving the comfort of your bed. We also have a full zipped sheet. You can just see at the back here, we've just opened that up a little bit just to show you that it can be fully zipped open, creating one large bedroom. Or of course, you can have it fully sealed to give you about as much privacy as you're going to be able to get within a tent. There is then also a zip down the middle here which uses our universal inner tent, and we'll just show you now how that works. So as I mentioned earlier on, lots of windows in the tent here allowing lots of light in, but if you don't want quite as much light or if you want a little bit of privacy, what you will find is every single window all the way around here has its own curtain, which you can see we just have zipped away at the moment. But what you can do here is then obviously just choose exactly how much light or how much privacy you're getting uh, with the zip up curtains. I'll also just highlight the mesh panel that we mentioned earlier on from the outside as well, giving you uh, more ventilation too. Also, I just want to highlight here, we have um, the buckle or the clip uh, at the front of the tent here, and then you can see 
all of these uh, all of these toggle points all the way around so this would be where the bedroom would attach and we'll just show you now how that looks when it is attached we certainly have plenty of optional extras available for you to choose from for the nevada lp uh, so we have two different types of carpet for the living area. We have our three-layer insulated carpet and we also have our fleece carpet, which is what you can see here. There's a footprint available for under the ground sheet, which is going to keep that clean and dry when it comes to packing down the tent. There's an awning available and there's also a roof protector as well. So that's all of the features and the optional extras for our Nevada LP from our premium collection. Thanks very much for watching.